Pepper and George are visiting Grandpa and Granny Pig. Granny Pig! Grandpa Pig! Hello, my little ones. What have you got there, George? Robots! It's a robot called Mr Robot. Shall I show you how it works? Yes, yes please. please. Mr Robot can walk all by himself, but you need to use this. It's called a key. Oh. You put the key in here, like this, and turn it. <laughs> Very impressive. Oh, it stopped. The long grass is stopping it from walking. Perhaps you could cut it, Grandpa Pig. Yes, maybe later. Let's do it again. <laughs> oh. Where's the key? It must have fallen out when Mr Robot was walking. <laughs> Don't worry, George. I'm sure we can find it, can't we, Grandpa? Yes, I have the very thing for finding lost keys in long grass. Now, where is it? The lawnmower is right in front of you, Grandpa Pig. But I'm not looking for the lawnmower. I'm looking for this, my metal detector. Metal detectors are good at finding lost keys. Oh, it's not in the box. Is the metal detector lost as well? I'm afraid so. Oh dear. Sorry, George. The key is lost forever. <laughs> Who can that be? Hello, everyone. Hello, Mr Fox. What can I sell you this morning? I've a solar-powered torch. A wooden frying pan, an electric gnome. Nothing for us today, thank you, Mr Fox. Unless you've got a metal detector. Metal detector? Well, why didn't you say so? I've got a metal detector right here. Fantastic. It's just like my old one. It's got three settings, finding things, good at finding things, and really good at finding things. Excellent. We'll take it. Now we can find George's lost key. Hooray! <laughs> How does the metal detector work, Grandpa? I'll show you. Imagine I have lost this coin. I turn on the metal detector and swing it gently from side to side. I'm looking for it here. I'm looking for it there. But, Grandpa, you put the coin here. I know, Peppa. I'm just pretending to look for it. Why don't you pretend to look for it here? Here, you say? Aha! I've found something. It's a coin. Yes, Grandpa. It's the one you just put there. Yes, Peppa. And that's how you find things with a metal detector. Can we have a go? <laughs> of course. Let's find that lost key. <laughs> here. There. Here. We found something. No, oh, it's a nail. Oh. Keep looking. <laughs> Here, there, there's something else. A spoon. What's that doing here? <laughs> This is fun! <laughs> key, key! George wants to find the key. Ooh, what is it, Grandpa? It's the key! Hooray! <laughs> now we can wind up Mr Robot. No! George never wants to lose the key again. Don't worry, George. If the key falls out again, we can find it with my new metal detector. <laughs> oh! Something really big. It's your old metal detector, Grandpa Pig. It was hidden in the long grass all the time. No. <laughs> Excellent. Now I have two metal detectors. When one gets lost, I can find it with the other. But what if they both get lost? Then I'll cut the grass. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and George are playing in their bedroom. They have made a bit of a mess. My goodness, what a mess! Oh! Sometimes, Peppa, you could do a tiny bit of tidying up. Then we wouldn't ever have to tell you off. Hmm. Why do children get told off? Grown-ups don't get told off. Ho, ho! That's one of the very few good things about being a grown-up. There. Lovely and tidy. Right. I'm off to the shops.
Can George and me come too? Okay. <laughs> but I don't think you'll like this particular shopping trip. Daddy, what are you going to buy at the shops? I'm buying a bag of concrete. Daddy Pig likes concrete. Ugh, not the concrete shop again. I'll be as quick as I can. This is the concrete shop. What does that sign mean, Daddy? It means you shouldn't park here. So why are you parked here? It's all right, because I won't be long. Hello, Daddy Pig. Have you come to do some shopping? Just buying a bag of concrete. It's so boring. Peppa, why don't you and George wait here and help me do my job? Thank you, Miss Rabbit. I won't be long. No problem. What job are you doing today, Miss Rabbit? I'm a traffic warden. Ooh! What does a traffic warden do? I look for cars parked where they shouldn't be. When I find one, I give it a parking ticket. Like this. Ooh! There. One bag of concrete. Say cheese. Cheese. See you later. Bye-bye. Oh, what's this? It's a parking ticket. Ah. Oh. Daddy, is a parking ticket like being told off? Uh, yes, Peppa. It's like being told off. Mummy, Mummy, Daddy got a ticket. That's nice. What did he get a ticket for? The cinema or the circus or... I got a parking ticket. Oh, well, hopefully it was just a mistake. Oh, yes. Maybe it was meant for someone else. Delivery for Daddy Pig. Thank you, Mr Zebra. Look! It's a picture of me, George and Daddy in our car. Yes, next to a no parking sign. It says I have to have a lesson to learn how to park. Daddy has to go to school. <laughs> It is Police Officer Panda and Police Officer Squirrel. Hello, 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 Mr Pig. Uh, can I help you? Yes, it's about the parking ticket. It's just routine, nothing to worry about. You're not planning on leaving the country, are you? No. Are you ready for your parking lesson? Yes. Marvellous. Follow me. This is a no parking sign. It is important to look out for signs on the public highway. That's right. Police Officer Panda will now show you how to park. Here is somewhere you can park. There is no sign here. Here is somewhere you should not park. There is a no parking sign. And that is the end of the parking lesson. That's all very clear. Thank you, Police Officer Panda and Police Officer Squirrel. Just doing our job. Hello, Police Officer Panda. Oh, hello, Miss Rabbit. Say cheese. What? A parking ticket? But that's outrageous. I was only parked for a moment. This sign was clearly visible. And you were parked in front of it. Ho, ho, you're right. It just goes to show that nobody is above the law. <laughs> And even grown-ups get told off. <laughs> <laughs> the electric car. Pepper and George are in their bedroom. Zoom, zoom. Car. George is playing with his toy car. Is it George? Car, car! Don't worry, George. It isn't broken. It just needs new batteries. There. Hooray! <laughs> Daddy's home! <laughs> <laughs> That's not Daddy. Oh, it is Daddy. Hello. Have we got a new car? No, I'm just trying it out. It looks funny. It's an electric car. <laughs> It's a car that runs on batteries instead of petrol. Ooh. Just like George's toy car. <laughs> Daddy's 
got a toy car just like George's. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we go for a drive? Yes, yes please. please. Then let's go. Oh, the car is broken. Does it need new batteries? Oh, yes, of course. We just need to charge up the battery. Look! The battery is charging up. Finished! The electric car is fully charged up. Right. Is everybody ready? Yes, yes Daddy, Daddy Pig. Pig! Then let's go! Wow! This car is so quiet. Yes, electric cars are quiet until they start talking. What do you mean, talking? <laughs> it's time you met Roger. Hey, Roger. Hello, my name is Roger. <gasps> Hello, Roger. Hello, Pepper. <laughs> Roger is very clever. He always knows which way to go and he can park all by himself. Wow! wow. I can even drive by myself. Really? really? Sit back and relax, Daddy Pig. Let me drive. OK, if you say so. Ooh. Don't worry, Daddy Pig. I am an expert driver. Whee! It's a magic car! <laughs> Stop! It is Police Officer Panda and Police Officer Squirrel. Hello, hello, hello. What's going on here, then? Driving with no hands, Daddy Pig. I wasn't driving. Yes, you were. No, I wasn't. Well, if you weren't driving, then who was? Car driving itself, was it? Yes, yes it, it was. was. Well, I'd better talk to the car, then, hadn't I? Hello, car. Hello. Whoa! What in the wide world was that? He's called Roger and he's very nice. Yes, he can even drive himself. Can you now? Well, to drive on these roads, you need a driving licence. Oh. oh! So, Roger, do you have a driving licence? Oh, of course. <laughs> oh, I see. Well, in that case, everything seems to be in order. Bye! Bye. Drive safely! Roger the car is driving safely. Amazing! Roger can do everything. George's car can sing. Drive, drive, driving along, <laughs> driving while I sing a song. Can you sing, Roger? Yes, I can sing. Car, car, electric car, travelling near and travelling far, knows exactly where you are. Knows exactly where you are. Oh! Where are we? We are now arriving home. Hooray! <laughs> Thank you, Roger. At your service. Will you be all right outside in the night? Oh, yes. I'm used to it. OK, Roger. Sleep well. Thank you, Pepper. You too. Pepper loves Roger. Everybody loves Roger the electric car. Pig's birthday. Pepper and her family are dressed in their very best clothes. <laughs> Today is Grandpa Pig's birthday. A party, a party, we're going to a party. You know, it's not really a party, Pepper. What do you mean? It's just a nice quiet meal in a restaurant on Grandpa Pig's birthday. And you haven't been to a restaurant before, have you? No. So that will be fun, won't it? Yes. <laughs> Pepper and her family have arrived at the restaurant. Ooh, this is nice. <laughs> we can sit here. No, Pepper, come back. Why? We have to be shown to our table by the waiter. <clears throat> have you booked a table? We're with Grandpa Pig. Please, uh, follow me. Hello. 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 Are you here for the party? Shush, Pepper. These people are having their own meals. And remember, it's not really a party. Oh. Peppa! George! Happy birthday, Grandpa! <laughs> Is this my birthday card? Yes. We made it ourselves. It's lovely. But it's sad it's not a real birthday party. I think I'm a bit too old for a real party, Peppa. 
I think Grandpa would rather have a nice, quiet meal. With party hats. <laughs> oh, Peppa, that's not a hat. It's a napkin. The napkins are to stop food and drink getting on your best clothes. <clears throat> would you like to order drinks, madame? Could we have a bottle of water, please? Of course. Can I get you anything else? Party hats, please. Party hats? Yes. Because it is my grandpa's birthday. A grandpa pig's birthday. I'll see what I can do. Pepper, they don't have party hats in posh restaurants like this. Et voilà, party hats. <laughs> oh, party hats. Oh, uh, thank you. Are you ready to order food? Yes, yes please. please. On the menu today, we have dried fish with seaweed cheese, strained carrot on a mussel cuff, or cream of sweet in a vegetable sug. Um, I think I might try the, uh, strained carrot on a mussel cough. Uh, cream of sweet for me, please. Perhaps the dried fish... Uh, same again, please. And for the children? Spaghetti, please. Spaghetti. Pepper and George <laughs> love spaghetti. <laughs> spaghetti is not on the menu, but I will ask the chef. Pepper, you can't ask for things that aren't on the menu. Strained carrot, cream of sweet, dried fish. And for the children, the chef has made spaghetti. Hooray! Spaghetti! Bon appetit. <laughs> mm. Actually, it's my birthday. Could I have the spaghetti too, please? And me. And me. And me. And, and, me. Me. and me. Everybody loves spaghetti. Would you like some cheese on your spaghetti? Cheese! And balloons, please. Balloons? Of course. Mm. Marvellous. Lovely. Balloons! Hooray! <laughs> this is starting to feel like a birthday party. The only thing missing is the cake. Oh! Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Grandpa Big! Blow out the candles, Grandpa. <gasps> Hooray! Hooray! Birthday party music, please. <laughs> <laughs> this is such fun. <laughs> Happy birthday, Grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> Funny music. It is morning. Pepper and George are having breakfast. Daddy Pig is about to go to work. Who could that be? Here is Mr Zebra, the postman. Delivery for Daddy Pig. Thank you, Mr Zebra. Bye now. Bye-bye. What is it, Daddy? It's a synthesizer. Ooh. What's a synthesizer? I'll show you. Wow. It's a little piano. Yes. It is like a piano, but with buttons. What do the buttons do, Daddy? Uh, I'm not sure. Oh, here's a book that tells you what the buttons do. Ah, it looks a little more complicated than I thought. Don't worry, Daddy. We'll learn all about it while you are at work. Thank you, Peppa. See you later. Bye-bye. <laughs> Let's play the sinking sizer. OK, first we need to switch it on. Then we can play it just like a piano. Ooh, can we have a go? Yes. We are good at the piano, Mummy. <laughs> <laughs> so what do the buttons do? We can use the buttons to record sounds. What kind of sounds? Anything you like. Say something, Peppa. <laughs> <laughs> That's me! Now we can play the sound like a piano. <laughs> Can we do some recording? Of course. Say something, George. Dinosaur. George, 
This is you. I saw. Let's do lots of sounds and surprise Daddy. What a good idea. Come on, George. <laughs> Pepper and George are recording lots of different sounds. In the kitchen. In the bedroom. <laughs> in the living room. In the hallway. <laughs> even in the garden. Peppa, George, Daddy will be home soon. Have you finished recording your sounds? <laughs> no, Mummy. There's just one more. Come on, George. Follow me. What sound can it be? It's a very important sound. <laughs> Peppa is going into the bathroom. Flush the toilet, George. <laughs> Daddy Pig is home from work. Hello, everyone. Hello, Daddy. <laughs> I've been looking forward to playing my new synthesizer all day. Mmm, lovely music. It's even more lovely with the buttons, Daddy. <laughs> Play it again. All right. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> What's that? That's me. We've made lots of silly sounds. Play it again. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny music, Daddy. Oh, oh. It certainly is. <laughs> Daddy Pig loves funny music. Everyone loves funny music. Looking for things. Pepper and her family are in the kitchen. Mummy Pig is making an apple pie. Yet, Mummy? No, Pepper. It has to cook in the oven. Well, it looks like we'll just have to wait. Yes. What are you all doing? We're waiting for the apple pie. Well, it's going to take time to cook. <coughs> Why don't you all wait somewhere else? Oh, oh okay. okay. What do we do now? <coughs> Well, I was going to do my crossword puzzle, but I can't find anything to write with. We'll find you something, Daddy. Come on, George. <laughs> <laughs> George, we need to find something for Daddy to write with. <laughs> George has found Mr Dinosaur. <laughs> Can't write with Mr. Dinosaur. <laughs> George has found a toy train. And you can't write with a train. Oh. Look, a crayon. <laughs> Daddy can write with this. <laughs> Come on, George. <laughs> Daddy, we found something to write with. Oh, a crayon. Just what I needed. Thank you, Pepper and George. Hmm. Ah! Can we look for something else? OK, let's play a looking game. Find something that is the shape of a square. A square? Yes. There must be something square-shaped in this room. Can you see a square, George? George has found a clock. Hmm. That's a circle. Oh. We need to find a square. That picture is a square. Ha <laughs> ha! Very good. You found a square. Hooray! What should we look for now? Now you must find something that makes a squeaky noise. Something that makes a squeaky noise. Try looking in the bathroom. <laughs> Look for something that makes a squeaky noise, George. George has found a towel. Towels don't squeak. 
Carols are very quiet. Oh. Squeaky, the rubber duck. <laughs> that makes a squeaky noise. <laughs> Daddy, Daddy, look what we found. Oh, oh, excellent. Now see if you can find something the colour of blue. Something blue? OK. <laughs> Pepper and George have found a ball. That's not blue. That's red. Oh. Pepper and George look in Mummy and Daddy's bedroom. Aw, there's nothing blue here. Pepper and George look in the office. Everything is not blue. Did you find anything? There is nothing in the whole house that is blue. Hmm, have you looked in the mirror? Daddy, the mirror is not blue. <gasps> blue! What is it, George? Blue! <laughs> George is blue. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa, George. Mummy, Mummy, we've been looking for things. Oh, I've got something you can look for. What is it, Mummy? It's round. A ball. Round and flat on top. A bit like a hat. A hat. And it tastes yummy. The apple pie. Yes, the apple pie is ready. Hooray! Yay! I love looking for things. And I love finding things, especially when it's apple, apple pie. pie. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa and George are at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house today. To me, George. Throw it to me. <laughs> Mr. Labrador is here in his new ice cream van. Ice cream! Hooray! Everyone is queuing for ice cream. Hello, Mrs. Cat. What flavour would you like? Is the vanilla ice cream nice? Oh, I don't know. I haven't tried it yet. It is Mr. Labrador's first day selling ice creams. Oh, it's delicious. Oh, nom, 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 nom. Would you like one? Yes, please. What's the strawberry flavour like? I I'd better check. Oh, no, 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 no. Ooh, that's nice as well. I want a strawberry ice cream. <coughs> what do you want, George? Ice cream. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Oh, no, 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 no. Is the mint ice cream good? Mmm, <coughs> lovely. Four mint ice creams, please. Thank you, Mr Labrador. It is Pepper and George's turn. Can I have a strawberry ice cream, please? Ah, I seem to have run out of strawberry ice cream. Then can I have a vanilla ice cream, please? Oh, there's no vanilla left either. Actually, I've got no ice cream left at all. <laughs> no ice cream? <laughs> Hmm, maybe I've tried too many myself. <laughs> yes, maybe you did. Mr Labrador loves ice cream. Don't worry, my little ones. Let's make our own ice cream instead. Can we do that? Yes, we used to make ice cream for your mummy when she was a little piggy. Oh, homemade ice cream. That sounds lovely. <laughs> Up aboard now, take it back home. Can we have the ice cream music, please? Good idea, Peppa. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's make ice cream. First, we pour some milk into a jug. Then we add some cream. Now, what flavour would you like your ice cream to be? We do have raspberries and strawberries from the garden. Yes! Let's make raspberry and strawberry ice cream. <laughs> In they go. Then we pour all our ingredients into a freezer bag. Now we need to make it very cold. Ooh. We'll put the ice cream bag into this bag full of ice and salt. And wrap it all in a towel. Now for the fun part. We shake it up and down for five minutes. You can start the shaking, Peppa. Ice cream, ice cream, shake, shake, shake. Ice cream, ice cream is what we make. <laughs> <laughs> Very good, Peppa. Ice cream, ice cream. <laughs> ice cream, ice cream, shake, shake, shake. Ice cream, ice cream is what we make. One last shake from me and I think it might be ready. Did 
work? Yes. Ooh. Ooh. It's the best ice cream in the world. Yum, yum. Granny, can all my friends come for ice cream? Of course they can, Peppa. Oh, in that case, we'll need to make a lot more ice cream. Hooray! Hooray! Ice cream! The best ice cream in the world! All of Peppa's friends are here for ice cream. Yes, we do. Made with carrots from my very own garden. Mmm. Thank you, Peppa. <laughs> I love ice cream. We all love ice cream, Mr Labrador. Yes, but I really love ice cream. <laughs> For pizza! It is almost lunchtime at Peppa's house. What does everyone fancy for lunch today? Um, can we have pizza? Pizza, pizza! Good idea. Let's make pizza. Ho, ho! I'm a bit of an expert at making pizza. Can George and me help? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> to make pizza, we need flour, tomatoes, cheese, and for toppings, we've got all sorts of nice things. Sweet corn. Mushrooms. Olives. Pineapple. <laughs> George likes pineapple on his pizza. Ah, pineapple on pizza? No, that's just not right. In fact, I think pineapple on pizza is against the law. <laughs> Silly daddy. <laughs> it is actually not against the law to put pineapple on pizza. Um, daddy, can we make funny faces on top of the pizzas? Of course we can. But before we start cooking, we have to wash our hands. Wash, 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 wash our hands, hands. Wash them nice and clean. Bubbly, scrubbly, scrubbly, bubbly. Wash them nice and clean. <laughs> Let's wipe the table clean. And put our aprons on. <laughs> right. Let's make pizza. Pizza, pizza. Peppa, George, could you please mix this flour and water together with your fingers? <laughs> it's all sticky and stretchy. <laughs> Perfect. I'm just going to knead it. We sprinkle a little flour on the table so the dough doesn't stick. You need to be big and strong to knead dough. <laughs> I am big and strong. <laughs> And George is big and strong too. <laughs> okay, that's enough kneading. Let's make the dough into four balls. One, two, three, four. And we roll them flat with a rolling pin. Ah, it looks like a pizza now. <laughs> but an expert pizza maker doesn't need a rolling pin. Watch this. Hoopla! <gasps> <laughs> Daddy has a pizza on his head. Oh, oh, this one can be mine. <laughs> Peppa, George, please smooth the tomato over the pizzas. <laughs> I like making pizza. It's lovely and messy. <laughs> Good. That's enough smoothing and splashing. Now for the cheese. Remember, Daddy, we're making funny faces. Of course. I'll use mushrooms to make eyes and olives for the smile. And I'll use onion for eyes and basil leaves for the mouth. I'm doing little tomatoes for the eyes and sweet corn for the mouth. <laughs> George is using pineapple for the eyes and cheese for the mouth. <laughs> I like funny faces. While they cook, we can tidy up all this mess. Um, you and Mummy can tidy up, and George and I can do some playing. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 
Pepper and George like playing. <laughs> Mummy and Daddy Pig like tidying up. <laughs> Pepper, George, lunch is ready. Yay! <laughs> Mummy, your pizza looks like you. Oh, thank you very much. And your pizza looks like you, Daddy. It looks nothing like me. <laughs> I must say, your pizza does look like you, Pepper. Does it? Oh, goody! And George's looks like George. <laughs> <laughs> These are the best pizzas in the world ever. <laughs> Pepper loves pizza. Everybody loves pizza. Roman Day. Pepper and George are at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. They are painting pictures of Polly Parrot. My goodness! What lovely paintings, Pepper and George. <laughs> Look at my pretty picture, Polly. <laughs> pretty picture, Polly? <laughs> Polly Parrot copies everything that is said. I'll put them up here for Granny Pig to see when she gets home. But where is Granny Pig? Oh, she's just out playing with her friends. <laughs> here is Granny Pig with her friends. Granny Pig! Hello, my little ones. Have you had a nice morning? Yes, thank you, Granny. Why are you wearing funny clothes? We have been doing historical reenactment. What's hysterical reenactment? It's when you dress up like it's the olden days. And sit around drinking tea. We do more than just drink tea. <coughs> Today, we were being Romans. What's Romans? Romans were people who lived a very long time ago. And I am the emperor. The emperor was the boss of all the Romans. Ooh. Goodbye. See you next week, Granny Pig. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Granny, can we be Romans too? Yes, Pepper. Here are some helmets. <laughs> <laughs> now what do we do? We march around saying, Veni, Vidi, Vici. What does that mean, Granny? It probably means anyone for another cup of tea. No. <laughs> it means I came, I saw, I conquered. Benny Vidi Vici. Benny Vidi Vici. <laughs> Granny Pig loves being a Roman. Benny Vidi Vici. <laughs> Pepper and George love being Romans too. Pepper and George have been doing some lovely pictures this morning. My goodness, they're very good. They look just like Polly. Just like Polly. <laughs> <laughs> the Romans like making pictures too, you know. Did they? Yes. They used coloured pieces to make pictures, known as mosaics. Here's one I made this morning. Ooh. Can we make a mosaic? What a good idea. You'll need some coloured pebbles. Follow me. I've got a whole bag of pebbles in my shed. This is Grandpa Pig's shed. Here we are. Lots of coloured pebbles. <laughs> George, what shall we make a picture of? Dinosaur. Good idea, George. You find the green pebbles for the dinosaur. <laughs> and I will find blue pebbles and make a lovely sky. Pepper and George are making a Roman mosaic of a dinosaur. George adds some green pebbles. <laughs> Pepper adds some blue pebbles. George, the red ones can be the eyes. <laughs> Finished! Well done, Pepper and George. My word, you've got rather muddy. <laughs> Time for a bath before Mummy and Daddy Pig come to pick you up. No! Oh dear, George does not want to have a bath. But George, the Romans were very good at having baths. And you're a Roman, aren't you? Yes, George. Let's have a Roman bath. <laughs> Pepper and George are having a Roman bath. <laughs> it's Mummy and Daddy. Here are Mummy and Daddy Pig. Ah, Tempus Fugit. What does that mean? It means time flies. Tempus Fugit. Ah, Tempus Fugit. Tempus Fugit. <laughs> Hello. Mummy, Daddy, we've been playing Romans. Tempus 
Papa's fidget. Ooh. And with these crowns of leaves, you are both Roman emperors. Hooray! Benny Vidi Vici. <laughs> Pepper and George love being Romans. Everybody loves being Romans. Super Potato Movie. Pepper and George are going to see the Super Potato Movie at the cinema. Super Potatoes, get your Super Potatoes here. Ooh, could we get a Super Potato, please, Daddy? Is it made of plastic, Mr Fox? It's better than that. It's made of potato. Made of potato? Yes, it's a potato. Well, in that case, I'd have two, please. Would everyone please take their seats? The film is about to start. Ooh. Now, does anyone need to go to the toilet? No, no Mummy Pig. Pig. Good, then let's go in. This is the cinema where the film will be shown. Hello, Rebecca. I've got Super Potato. I've got Mrs Carrot. Help! Save me, Super Potato. <laughs> Super Potato, to the rescue. <laughs> Shush, Pepper. The film is about to start. Super Potato, the movie! Hooray! Far away, in the land of fruit and vegetables, there is a problem. Help! My foot is stuck. We need a rescue! Someone call for Super Potato! Super Potato! Super Potato! Did someone call my name? Hooray! By the power of vegetables, I am here. You're my hero. Hooray! Mommy, I need the toilet. OK, come on then. Sorry, excuse us. Miss Rabbit is in the projector room. Is this the toilet? No, Peppa, this is the projector. What's a projector? It's the machine that shows the film you're watching. See? Oh, yes! There's Super Potato! <laughs> I get to watch Super Potato six times a day. Wow! I wish I was a superhero. You are a superhero to us, Miss Rabbit. You do all the important jobs. Yes, I have just cleaned the toilets. You'll find them down the corridor on your left. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Hurry up. Mrs Carrot's about to be rescued again. Someone call for Super Potato! Super Potato! Super Potato! Did someone say my name? I am on my way. Hooray! What's happening now? Mrs Carrot got stuck in the mud. By the power of vegetables, I am here! You're my hero! Yay! I want to be a super potato when I grow up. Here comes the song bit. <laughs> Fruit and vegetables keep us alive. Always remember to eat your five. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the stage, Super Potato! By the power of vegetables, I am actually here! <laughs> Did you enjoy the movie, children? Yes! yes. Show us how you fly! How do I fly? Like this! Am I a bird? Am I a plane? No! I'm a potato! Oh dear, Super Potato is stuck in the cinema roof. Help! Call for Super Potato! That is Super Potato! Quick, call for Miss Rabbit! Miss Rabbit! Miss Rabbit! Miss Rabbit! Miss Rabbit! Did someone call my name? Help! Oh! I'm on my way! Yay! Help! Help! Miss Rabbit to the rescue! Help! Whoa! Miss Rabbit has rescued Super Potato! Wow! Oof. When I grow up, I want to be Miss Rabbit! Miss Rabbit, you are my hero! <laughs> Miss Rabbit is a superhero! <laughs> Buried treasure! <laughs> Molly Mole and Freddy Fox have come to play with Pepper and George. What shall we play? Let's do digging. Um, 
I'm not very good at digging. I am. Squeak. Watch this. <laughs> Molly Mole is good at digging. Wow, Molly's digging a long tunnel. <laughs> oh, I found something. What is it? Wow. wow, it's a pirate treasure chest. I wonder how it got there. It's a mystery. <laughs> We'd better tell my daddy. My goodness, where did this hole come from? Daddy, daddy, we found some pirate treasure at the end of our tunnel. Treasure? How did it get there? We don't know. It's a mystery. Maybe we should call the police. <laughs> They'll know what to do. This is the police station. Hello, police station. Hello, it's Daddy Pig here. We found some pirate treasure. Pirate treasure, you say? We'll be right there. <coughs> hello, hello, hello. That is how the police say hello. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> I want to be a policeman when I grow up. Good lad. <laughs> so, where's this pirate treasure then? Under the ground. We were just digging this tunnel when suddenly we found this. Yes, yes, yes. That's pirate treasure, all right. It's just like the pirate treasure we have back at the police station. Let's take this back and put it with the other one. Oh, dear. Police officer Panda is dropping coins along the way. Right. Back to the police station. <laughs> Can we have the Nina, please? Why not? Nina, 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 Nina. This way to the lost property. Down here is where we keep all the lost things. Wow! Umbrellas, shoes, a lamppost, even a lost cupboard. Ah, oh, that's not lost, Freddy. This is where we keep the pirate treasure. Oh! It's gone. That's strange. Another mystery. Hello, hello, hello. There's a hole in the wall. And a tunnel. Someone has dug a hole and taken our treasure chest down the tunnel. A criminal mastermind, no doubt. I wonder where he goes. Look, there are coins on the floor. Uh-huh. A trail. Let's follow the trail. We'll soon find out who took our treasure. We're outside my house. And the trail of coins ends. Now we'll never know who took the treasure from the police station. It's a mystery. I know who took it. Who? We did. Eh? Follow me. <laughs> This is the tunnel we dug this morning. Yes. It goes all the way back to the police station. And? We didn't know it was the police station, but this is where we found the treasure. So you found the pirate treasure that was in our lost property cupboard. Yes. Mystery solved. Well done, Freddy. Hooray! Hooray! That was excellent police work. Yes. I do believe you'll make a very good police officer one day. Just remember to keep your ears and eyes open. <laughs> Who left that lamppost there? That's not a safe place for a lamppost. I'll make a note. Dangerous obstruction in workplace environment. Ho, ho. You see, children, a police officer's work is never done. And the mystery of the buried pirate treasure is solved. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Christmas at the hospital. It is Christmas Day. <laughs> Pepper and her family are opening their presents. Ah, yes. Socks. Just what I always wanted. Oh, I've got socks too. Lovely. I wonder if you've got socks, Pepper. I hope not. Hooray! A toy car! Vroom, vroom. Don't be sad if it sucks, George. 
airplane. Yeah. Oh, what a fantastic <laughs> Christmas. Yes. All I want to do now is sit back and do nothing for the rest of the day. Peppa, George, careful, or you might trip and fall. Ow, my arm. Oh, dear. Peppa has tripped and bumped her arm. Hmm, I think we should call Dr Brown Bear. Dr Brown Bear speaking. A bumped arm, you say? And on Christmas Day, I'll be right there. So, Peppa, bumped your arm, have you? Yes. Can you wiggle your fingers? That's very good. But just to be safe, we'll take a trip to the hospital. This is the hospital. Miss Rabbit is the nurse. Who's next? <sighs> that will be me. Wait, we have a sick child. Oh, a child. A child, yes. That's more important than me. Miss Rabbit will take you from here, Peppa. Yes, just follow me, please. Oh, Miss Rabbit, the hospital is all Christmassy. Looks lovely, doesn't it? Hello, Peppa. Oh, hello, Pedro. Why are you here? I bumped my arm. I banged my leg and I got a sticker. Wow! Sit yourself down and tell me where it hurts. Here, on my arm. Can you wiggle your fingers? A little bit. Can you say banana? Banana? That was a joke, to make you feel relaxed. <laughs> Do you feel relaxed? Yes. Good. We just need to take a picture of your arm with the X-ray. Ooh, what's the X-ray? It shows us the bones inside your body. How does it work? It uses a cathode and anode controlled beam of electromagnetic... It's magic! Ooh! The X-ray shows your arm will be fine, Peppa. And for being so brave, you get a sticker. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. <laughs> Look, I got a sticker. That's nice. Oh, Pedro, you look sad. I'm sad because Father Christmas hasn't been. What? Haven't you got your Christmas present? No, not yet. Right, who's next? Ah, oh, good. At last. Ho, ho, ho. <gasps> Father Christmas. Christmas! Father Christmas! Yes, he's much more important than me. <gasps> Father Christmas! Sit yourself down, Mr Christmas, and tell me where it hurts. Oh, no. I'm not here because I'm ill. I'm here with Pedro's Christmas present. Thank you. I wonder what it is. Hopefully it's not socks. Hooray! A toy boat! Sorry I'm a bit late, but I got my tummy stuck in a chimney. Those chimneys get smaller every year. Oh dear, tummy stuck in a chimney? Maybe I should just give you a quick check-up. Open wide. Say ho, ho, ho for me, please. Ho, ho, ho! Good. You're fine. Have a sticker. Thank you, Miss Rabbit, for looking after everyone at Christmas time. Just doing my job, Father Christmas. Just doing my job. Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Buttercups, daisies and dandelions. Pepper and her family are visiting Cousin Chloe's house for the day. Hello. Hello. Hello, Chloe. <laughs> As it's such a sunny day, we thought we'd have a picnic in the garden. Oh, that would be lovely. Come on, Pepper and George. <laughs> Race you. <laughs> <laughs> this is a good spot for a picnic. Mmm, yes. <laughs> Ooh, look at all the flowers in the grass. Yes, let's pick them. <laughs> I will pick the buttercups. I will pick the daisies. <laughs> No, George. You need to find your own flower to pick. <laughs> Ooh. George has found some very pretty flowers. George, don't pick the flowers in the flower bed. Only pick the flowers in the grass. <laughs> Chloe is collecting buttercups. 
Peppa is collecting daisies. George is collecting grass. <laughs> Don't pick grass, George. Pick dandelions, like this one. <laughs> Peppa, George, would you like to see a trick with buttercups? Yes, please. <laughs> George, do you like butter? George does not know if he likes butter. Let me see. Yes, George, you do like butter. <laughs> How can you tell? If I hold a buttercup under George's chin and it shines yellow, that means he likes butter. <gasps> do it to me! Do it to me! Peppa, do you like butter? You do! <laughs> it's true! I do like butter! <laughs> I've got a trick I can do with daisies. Oh, what's that? If I put a daisy under your chin and it shines yellow, then, um, then that means you like cheese. Really? Yes. George, do you like cheese? <laughs> cheese. Yes, George does like cheese. Oh, there's no yellow. Are you sure you like cheese, George? <laughs> I think they are the wrong type of daisies. Oh. Don't worry, there is something we can do with daisies. We can make a daisy chain. What's a daisy chain? I'll show you. First you take a daisy and make a little hole in the stem. Take another daisy and thread it through that hole. Then make a hole in that daisy stem and thread another daisy through that hole. Look, a daisy chain. Wow! Let me try. Make a hole in the stem, thread a daisy through. This is fun! <laughs> <laughs> we can join them together to make one big daisy chain necklace. There! Now you are the daisy queen, Peppa. Yes, I am the daisy queen. Look at me, look at me! <laughs> no, George, I am the daisy queen. You need to be something else. Oh. George, you can be a lion. And these dandelions can be your mane. <laughs> George is a dandelion. Oh! <laughs> George likes being a lion. <laughs> Children, come and get your food. <laughs> Look, everyone. I am the Daisy Queen. And this is George the Lion. Ooh. Ooh. And I know a trick to see if you like butter, Daddy. Really? Yes, you do like butter. Oh, oh I do. That's very clever, Pepper. Can I try? Mmm, yes. Daddy also likes eggs and tomato, cheese and cake. Wow! How do you know all that, Mummy? Because he's got bits of egg, tomato, cheese and cake all down his front. Ho, ho! <laughs> Daddy Pig loves picnics. Everybody loves picnics. Victor. Pepper and George are visiting Grandpa and Granny Pig. Granny Pig! Grandpa Pig! Hello, my little ones. What have you got there, George? Robots! It's a robot called Mr. Robot. Shall I show you how it works? Yes, yes please. please. Mr. Robot can walk all by himself, but you need to use this. It's called a key. Oh. You put the key in here, like this, and turn it. <laughs> Very impressive. Oh, it stopped. The long grass is stopping it from walking. Perhaps you could cut it, Grandpa Pig. Yes, maybe later. Let's do it again. <laughs> oh, where's the key? It must have fallen out when Mr. Robot was walking. <laughs> Don't worry, George. I'm sure we can find it, can't we, Grandpa? Yes, I have the very thing for finding lost keys in long grass. Now, where is it? The lawnmower is right in front of you, Grandpa Pig. But I'm not looking for the lawnmower. I'm looking for this, my metal detector. Metal detectors are good at finding lost keys. Oh, it's not in the box. 
Is the metal detector lost as well? I'm afraid so. Oh dear. Sorry, George. The key is lost forever. <laughs> Who can that be? Hello, everyone. Hello, Mr. Fox. What can I sell you this morning? I have a solar-powered torch, a wooden frying pan, an electric gnome. Nothing for us today, thank you, Mr. Fox. Unless you've got a metal detector. Metal detector? Well, why didn't you say so? I've got a metal detector right here. Fantastic. It's just like my old one. It's got three settings, finding things, good at finding things, and really good at finding things. Excellent. We'll take it. Now we can find George's lost key. Hooray! How does the metal detector work, Grandpa? I'll show you. Imagine I have lost this coin. I turn on the metal detector and swing it gently from side to side. I'm looking for it here. I'm looking for it there. But, Grandpa, you put the coin here. I know, Pepper. I'm just pretending to look for it. Why don't you pretend to look for it here? Here, you say? Aha! I found something. It's a coin. Yes, Grandpa. It's the one you just put there. Yes, Pepper. And that's how you find things with a metal detector. Can we have a go? <laughs> of course. Let's find that lost key. <laughs> here, there, here. We found something. No, oh, it's a nail. Oh. Keep looking. <laughs> here, there, there's something else. A spoon. What's that doing here? <laughs> this is fun! <laughs> key, key! George wants to find the key. Ooh, what is it, Grandpa? It's the key! Hooray! <laughs> now we can wind up Mr. Robot. No! George never wants to lose the key again. Don't worry, George. If the key falls out again, we can find it with my new metal detector. <laughs> oh! You found something really big. It's your old metal detector, Grandpa Pig. It was hidden in the long grass all the time. Oh, <laughs> excellent. Now I have two metal detectors. When one gets lost, I can find it with the other. But what if they both get lost? Then I'll cut the grass. <laughs> <laughs> World Book Day. Pepper and her friends are at Playgroup. Children, tomorrow is World Book Day. When we celebrate the wonder of books. I love books. Me, Me too. too. Me too. Good. Please come to playgroup dressed as someone from your favourite book. Can I come as Super Potato? Is Super Potato in a book? No, he's on TV. No, it must be a character from a book. Can I come as someone from a fairy tale? Yes. It can be any book you like. Remember your costumes for World Book Day tomorrow. <laughs> mummy, Mummy, it's World Book Day tomorrow and we have to dress up as someone from a book. That sounds exciting. Who are you going to be, Pepper? You've got lots of books to choose from. Yes. <laughs> I can go as a sleepy princess. From this book. Yes, I love reading you this story. <clears throat> Once upon a time, there lived a... Or maybe I can go as the red monkey. <laughs> I love that book too. Hmm, I can't decide. All the books are good. Why not go as Funny Onion from the book that Mummy Pig wrote? No, Daddy. It has to be a real book, not Mummy's book. <laughs> Thank you very much, Peppa. Once upon a time, there was an onion called Funny Onion. 47685931 Most of Mummy Pig's book is one big long number. Yes, there were a few printing problems. How about this book? The Tiny Magic Fairy. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> I'm a tiny magic fairy. <laughs> and George? 
What's your favourite book? I'm sure. Of course, your pop-up dinosaur book. <laughs> well, that's settled. George will go to World Book Day as a dinosaur and Peppa will go as a tiny fairy. Or maybe a duck. Quack, quack. It is nearly bedtime. Aha! I'm the happy pirate from the pirate book. <laughs> Pirates are my favourite because they are funny and they sing happy songs and... Brush their teeth? Yes, brush their teeth. <laughs> are we all ready for World Book Day tomorrow? No. <coughs> my favourite book keeps changing. <laughs> Don't worry, Pepper. You can decide in the morning. Today is World Book Day. Oh, my! What wonderful costumes! Tell us, Pedro, who are you? I'm the hunter from Little Red Riding Hood. He's strong and brave and kind to old ladies. Very good. And I am Dogbeard the Sailor from the adventures of Dogbeard the Sailor. And why is he your favourite? Because he's strong and brave. And I think he might be kind to old ladies, too. Excellent. I'm an old lady. So you are, Candy. But are you not also a witch? Yes, so be careful or I might turn you into a frog. <laughs> <laughs> and you, Edmund? You have come as... The big number from Mummy Pig's book. <laughs> 476,859,312. Oh. What an amazing choice. Ah, George, you are dressed as... Dinosaur. <laughs> but where is Pepper? Here I am. Ooh. What book are you, Pepper? I am all my favourite books. I have fairy wings, <laughs> a pirate hat, Aha! a red monkey tail, <laughs> and quack, quack, duck feet. <laughs> You're a fairy pirate monkey duck. <laughs> Peppa loves World Book Day. Everyone loves World Book Day. Strawberries. Peppa and George are visiting Granny and Grandpa Pig. Come and see the strawberries I've grown. Grandpa Pig has spent days and days growing strawberries. I think you will be impressed. Perhaps we can make some strawberry jam. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> Pepper and George love strawberry jam. <laughs> May I present my strawberry? One strawberry? <laughs> You've grown one strawberry? It will be the best tasting strawberry ever. Why is it hiding in a little house, Grandpa? It is hiding because the cheeky little birds have eaten all the rest. Ah! Uh. You cheeky bird! <laughs> So now there are no strawberries. And we won't make jam. We can still make jam. I know a place that has lots of strawberries. <laughs> it's a strawberry farm. Ooh. So that's where we will go. This is the strawberry farm. Hello there. Have you come to pick strawberries? Yes, Miss Rabbit. Then you've come to the right place. We've got nothing here but strawberries. Wow! So many strawberries! Pick as many as you like. <laughs> here is Pedro Pony with his mummy and daddy. Hello. Hello, Pedro. Have you picked a lot of strawberries? Yes, but my mummy and daddy keep eating them. Oh, is this the way out? I never want to see a strawberry ever again. How strange. I suppose some people just don't like strawberries. <laughs> Picking strawberries is fun. I must say, these strawberries do look lovely. But the real test is if they taste any good. Actually, that is rather good. Mmm, yummy! I love the strawberry farm. Strawberry, strawberry, juicy, red and sweet. Strawberry, strawberry, they're so nice to eat. Mmm, scrumptious. But remember, everyone, we're here to collect strawberries to take home and make jam. Put them in your baskets and try not to eat too many. Yes, yes Granny, Granny Pig! Pig. 
I'll just have one last one. <laughs> I suppose one more won't hurt. Naughty Granny! Naughty Grandpa! Right you are, Peppa. This really is the very last one. <laughs> I can't stop eating them. Hello, birdies. Have you come to eat the strawberries? The little birds do not want to eat the strawberries. Perhaps they have just eaten too many, Peppa. <coughs> yes, I think I've eaten too many. Oh. Peppa's basket is full. George's basket is full. Granny and Grandpa's baskets are empty. Granny, Grandpa, where are your strawberries? Oh, in our tummies. <coughs> Maybe it's time to go home. Here is Danny Dog with his mummy and daddy. They have just arrived at the strawberry farm. Hello, Peppa. <coughs> Hello, Danny. Look at all these strawberries. Oh, don't say that word. What? Strawberries? Oh. How strange. I suppose some people just don't like strawberries. I see you've picked a lot of strawberries. Oh. Where's the way out? The way out is just through the gift shop. What do you sell in your shop, Miss Rabbit? Strawberry cake, strawberry cookies, strawberry cheese, strawberry juice, strawberry sweets, strawberry... Anything without strawberries? Uh, no. I think we've had our fill of strawberries, thank you. Funny, no one ever buys anything from this shop. Miss Rabbit, look at how many strawberries we picked. <coughs> well done, Pepper and George. Now we can make strawberry jam. Oh. <laughs> Pepper and George love strawberries. Everyone loves strawberries. The Petting Farm. Mummy and Daddy Pig are taking Pepper, George and Rebecca Rabbit to visit a petting farm. Mummy, what is a petting farm? It's a place where you get to meet tiny little animals. You can feed them and you can stroke them. Ooh! <laughs> I love ickle little animals. There's just one important rule at the farm. Before and after meeting the animals, we have to wash our hands. Yes, Daddy Pig! This is the petting farm. Hello there, my lovelies. I'm Mrs Badger the farmer. Hello. Hello. Now, before we meet the animals, there's one thing we have to do. We have to... Wash our hands. That's right. <laughs> First, we use some soap. It's all bubbly. <laughs> I love bubbles. And now some water. Wash, wash, wash our hands, wash them nice and clean. Bubbly, scrubbly, scrubbly, bubbly, wash them nice and clean. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of animals have you got here, Mrs Badger? We've got chickens. <coughs> here are the chickens. It's time for the chickens' lunch. Would you like to feed them? Yes, please. OK, have a bag of birdseed each. <laughs> Here, Chicky Chick, come and eat some seeds. <laughs> <laughs> what lucky chickens. Yes, they certainly are well fed. <laughs> now, who wants to hold a baby chick? Me, 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 me. me. <laughs> oh, they're so little. They're so fluffy. They're so sweet. <laughs> it's true. Baby chicks are little and fluffy and sweet. Mrs Badger, what other animals have you got? We've got guinea pigs. Can we see the guinea pigs? Of course. But before you see them, you need to... Wash our hands! That's right. <laughs> Wash, wash, wash your hands, wash them nice and clean. Bubbly, scrubbly, scrubbly, bubbly, wash them nice and clean. <laughs> Here are the guinea pigs. Oh, look at their cute little faces. Uh. And their fluffy little bodies. You can pick them up and stroke them if you like. Oh, you are lovely. Adorable, aren't they? That's not quite the word I would use. And they make excellent pets. Can we have a guinea pig, Daddy? 
please? We haven't really got the space to keep a guinea pig. You don't need much space. Uh, and they probably need lots of looking after. No, guinea pigs are very easy to look after. And I would do all the work. But, Pepper, um, you might not want to do that forever and then... You could always look after it for her. Uh, look at the time. I think we have to be getting home. Oh, yes. Look, Rebecca, there's your mummy. She's come to meet you. Here is Mummy Rabbit with the baby twins, Rosie and Robbie. Hello, Rebecca. Hello, Mummy. <laughs> oh, look, cute little baby rabbits. <laughs> yes, my little baby brother and sister really are cute. Can we cuddle them, please, Mummy Rabbit? Of course you can, Peppa. But there's something you need to do first. Wash our hands. Wash, wash, wash our hands. Wash them nice and clean. Bubbly, scrubbly, scrubbly, bubbly, wash them nice and clean. <laughs> now you can cuddle Robbie and Rosie. <laughs> Have you had a nice time today? Yes, Mummy. We fed seeds to chickens. <coughs> we held the baby chicks. We stroked the guinea pigs. Uh. And now, best of all, we're cuddling baby rabbits. <laughs> Peppa loves the petting farm. Everyone loves the petting farm. Bird spotting. It is a lovely sunny day at Peppa's house. Granny and Grandpa Pig have come to visit. Hello, everyone. I like your funny hat, Grandpa. Thank you, Peppa. Today I'm doing a bit of bird spotting. What's bird spotting? It's Grandpa's latest little hobby. I suppose it keeps him happy. Uh, yes. I look for birds, and when I spot them, I tick them off in my book. Look, this is a robin redbreast. I spotted one in my garden. Ooh! Of course, what I'd love to spot is a very rare bird, like a cuckoo. Never mind, Grandpa. I'm sure you will one day. Yes. In fact, I was um, actually hoping to do a bit of bird spotting before lunch. If that's OK. No problem. Lunch won't be ready for ages. Grandpa, can George and me go bird spotting too? Of course you can, Peppa. <laughs> oh, oh, we'll call you when lunch is ready. The best place to spot birds is where there are trees. Birds like trees. Um, but there aren't any birdies here, Grandpa. Ah, but I know a clever trick. We pretend to be a bird. <whistles> then hopefully a bird will hear our call and fly here. Look, Grandpa, a birdie. Ah, yes, that is a sparrow. A good start. Here are Mr Stallion and Mrs Corgi. Ah, Grandpa Pig. I see you're doing some bird spotting. Yes. Us too. We've just spotted one of our rarest birds in the world. A ribbon-tailed bird of paradise. Amazing to find one this far north. Well done. I spotted a sparrow. Oh, yes. A common sparrow. Well done, you. See you later. Bye. Now, um, let's do some more bird calls. I can do a duck. Quack, quack. Ah. <laughs> it worked! Uh, I wonder if there's a duck in my book. Mrs Duck must be in your book. She is very special. Of course she is. Ah, here we go. A duck. And George can do a pigeon. Do your pigeon, George. <laughs> Uh, they seem to have left pigeons out of my book. How are you doing, Grandpa Pig? Spotted any rare birds? Um, we saw a duck and some pigeons. Uh, and I have high hopes of spotting a cuckoo. Peppa, George, Grandpa, lunch is ready. Oh, goody. Bye. A cuckoo, you say? How were you planning on spotting a cuckoo? Oh, you know, uh, I was just going to call cuckoo. <laughs> My goodness, 
It worked. Well done, old chap. Cuckoo! It's inside the house. Oh, that is not a real cuckoo. That is Pepper's toy cuckoo clock. Sorry to barge in like this, but Grandpa Pig has heard a cuckoo. You're in here somewhere. But Grandpa... Quiet, everyone. We don't want to scare the cuckoo away. <coughs> ah! Oh, it's a cuckoo clock. That means I can't tick it off in my book. But Grandpa, my cuckoo clock is very special. It certainly is. I think you should tick it off. I would if it was me. Uh, what does everyone else think? Strictly speaking, it's... OK, if everyone thinks it's fair... Hooray! <laughs> Grandpa Pig loves bird spotting. Everybody loves bird spotting. <laughs> Breakfast club. Pepper and her friends are going to playgroup earlier than usual this morning. Good morning, children. Good morning, Madam Gazelle. Who knows why we have come to playgroup early today? Isn't because we didn't learn enough things yesterday? No, Danny, that is not the reason. Is it because you like us so much? Well, I do like you all, but it is not the reason. Is it a very special day today? Yes, Pedro. We have all come to playgroup early because today is Breakfast Club. Ooh! And who knows what we do at Breakfast Club? Eat our breakfast! Correct! I love eating breakfast. So do I. Me too. Everyone <laughs> loves eating breakfast. And why is it so important to have a good breakfast? Because breakfast wakes your mouth up. So we can do lots of talking. Talk, 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 talk. Yes, yes. Thank you, Peppa. <laughs> I eat breakfast because it tastes nice. Yes, Pedro. And breakfast gives us energy to use throughout the day. Uh... What is energy? Energy is the strength and vitality required for physical or mental activity. That's right, Edmund. <laughs> so, Rebecca, what do you use your energy for? I use it for hopping. <laughs> Very good. I use energy for thinking. What's he doing? Edmund is thinking. Yes, I was thinking. Edmund Elephant is a clever clogs. <laughs> it can take a lot of energy to think. Ooh. And now we will all choose what to have for breakfast. We have bread, cheese, jam, porridge, yogurt. May I have carrots for my breakfast, please? Yes, you may. Can I have cereal, please? Of course you can. <laughs> Madam Gazelle? Can I have toast, please? Yes, Susie. I shall make you some toast. Does anyone else want toast? No, thank you. OK. The bread goes in here, and we push this lever down. The toaster gets very hot, so please do not touch it. And wait for it. It's coming any minute. Hopla! Cut it! Wow! Can I have toast, please? I'm I'm me, I'm me. I'm me. Everybody wants toast for breakfast. Well, in that case, I will have to use the big toaster. Ooh. It's a super toaster. <laughs> <laughs> Plates ready, everyone. Wait for it. Here it comes. <laughs> Everyone has caught their toast. Again, again! again. No, children, eat the toast you have first. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have honey on my toast, please? Can I have marmalade, please? Of course, children. I'm having strawberry jam on mine. I'm having honey, marmalade and strawberry jam on my toast. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
getting lots of energy in my tummy. So am I. I'm getting strawberry jam energy. I'm getting honey jam and marmalade energy. Everyone <laughs> has lots and lots of energy. And now it is time for us to do a breakfast bounce. Follow me. <laughs> Use the energy from the food to get our bodies and minds ready for the day. Copy me, children. Egg, apple, yogurt, pancake and toast. Which one for breakfast do I like the most? Toast, honey, egg, yum. Toast, toast, toast. Breakfast is over and everyone is ready to start the day. In the future. Peppa is at Susie Sheep's house this evening. Mummy Sheep and Mummy Pig are going out. Don't worry, Mummy. We can look after the house while you're away. That's very kind of you, Susie. But we have a special babysitter coming. That'll be her now. <coughs> Hello, everyone. Hello. It's my cousin, Charlotte. Charlotte Sheep <laughs> is the babysitter. Hello, Charlotte. Thanks for coming. We won't be out late. You can watch TV and I've made you some pizza. Oh, thank you. You two be good. We will. Bye. Bye-bye. How old are you, Charlotte? I'm 17. 17? That's very grown up. You can do anything you like when you're grown up. That's right. You can drive a car and even stay up late. Wow! In the future, when you're grown up, you'll be able to do that too. Ooh! But grown ups also have to go to work, you know. That sounds fun. Can we stay up late with you, Charlotte? Sorry, it's your bedtime now. Oh. <laughs> night, night. Sleep well. Night, night. night. Uh. Susie! Yes? Are you awake? Yes. I wish I was grown up. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> when we're grown up, we will be downstairs watching TV and eating pizza. Yes. And babysitting. And going to the cinema. And staying up all night. <laughs> <laughs> In the future, we will have a yellow car. No, blue. Yellow and blue. <laughs> <laughs> I'll drive. So will I. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy Dog will be a spaceman. Yes! I'm off to space! <laughs> and George will be a dinosaur. Dinosaur girl! <laughs> and Freddy Fox will be a policeman. Hello, hello, hello. What's all this here, then? This is our grown-up car. Can you beep your horn for me, please? <laughs> Very good. Off you go, then. Bye. Bye! What will your job be? I will be a nurse. But in my lunch break, I will fly a plane. Good afternoon, everybody. We are now flying all around the world. <laughs> <laughs> what will your job be, Peppa? My job will be doing important work on my computer. <laughs> <laughs> In a big house with fountains and a swing, <laughs> and I will marry Pedro or Danny, and I'll do that too. <laughs> <laughs> and we will live with all our friends. Hello, and all our children will be there. <laughs> <laughs> but who will look after all these children? We will. Bedtime, everybody. Time for your tea. No football in the house. Phew. Phew. Mummy Pig and Mummy Sheep have arrived back home. Hello. Has everything been OK? Yes, everything's been fine. Hello. Are you two still awake? Yes, Mummy. We've been thinking about the future. It's very tiring being grown-up. Yes, it is. 
we need to get some rest. Yes, you do. Good night, little ones. Good night, grown-ups. Pepper and Susie need a good night's rest to be ready for the future. The sandcastle. It is a lovely sunny day. Pepper and George have come to the seaside. I'm going to make a sandcastle. <laughs> I want to make a sandcastle too. And me. OK, George and me will show you how. Put sand in your bucket. Turn your bucket over. Tap it with your spade. Good. Now, lift up the bucket. Ta-da! 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 Pepper, George, <laughs> Mummy and Daddy Pig have made four sandcastles. Yay! Here is Pedro Pony. Hello, Pepper. Hello, Pedro. Do you like our sandcastles? Yes, but it would be better if you had walls joining them together, like this. <laughs> Good idea, Pedro. Yes, lovely walls. <laughs> <laughs> the walls have joined the castle together. Now it's one big sandcastle. Wendy Wolf is at the seaside too, with her daddy. That's a good castle. Thank you, Wendy. I like the walls. Nothing like good, strong walls. What are they made of? Straw? Sticks? Bricks? Sand. Excellent. Let's make something in the middle. Like what? How about the biggest sandcastle in the world? Yes! yes. We need a heap of sand. <laughs> Wendy, Pedro, Pepper and George are making a hill in the middle of the castle. And on the very top... Ta-da! It looks great. Yes, really good. Now it needs the bobbly bits. What are bobbly bits? All castles have bobbly bits on top of the walls, like this. Ah! Wendy Wolf is using pebbles to make the castle's bobbly bits. And it needs flags. <laughs> Pepper and George are collecting little sticks and some seaweed to make flags. <laughs> it needs windows. <laughs> Pedro is using shells to make windows. There. What a fantastic sandcastle. Let's add a moat. What's a moat? You'll see. We dig the moat all around outside the wall. Good idea. Everyone help dig. OK. <laughs> <laughs> and now we have to fill the moat with water. Let's get water from the sea. <laughs> 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 the moat is full of water. The castle's finished! Hooray! I wish it could be my home and I could live in it. <laughs> You're too big to live in a sandcastle, Peppa. Here is Mr Crab. He's come to take a look at the castle. Hello, Mr Crab. Do you have a home to live in? Aw, oh, he looks sad. <coughs> I don't think Mr Crab has a home. He can live in our castle. Yes, in you go, Mr Crab. <coughs> oh, but how does he get across the moat? He needs a bridge. <coughs> <laughs> George has found a piece of driftwood. <coughs> George has made a bridge. Mr Crab likes the bridge. But he can't get inside the castle. We just need to make a little door. Mr Crab is the king of the castle. <laughs> it's the best sandcastle in all the world ever. <laughs> <laughs> Botanical Gardens. 
Today, Pepper and George are going to the Botanical Gardens. Miss Rabbit is head gardener. Welcome to the Botanical Gardens, where we grow plants from all around the world. Ooh. Our first garden is a wildflower meadow. It will look nice when you've tidied it up a bit. This is what wildflower meadows are meant to look like, Daddy Pig. Ah! It takes a lot of effort to make it look this messy. The butterflies and bees like it. That's right. Wildflower meadows are very good for butterflies and bees. <laughs> Would you like to see the other gardens? Yes, yes please. please. This is the hot house. It's very hot in here. Yes, Peppa. It is where we grow plants that come from very hot places. We have cacti, Ooh. palm trees, ah. and this is a Venus flytrap. Why is it called a flytrap? Because it traps flies. Watch. The Venus flytrap has caught a fly. <laughs> George, let's play Venus flytraps. <laughs> I will be the flytrap and you can be the fly. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Caught you, George. <laughs> now I'll be the fly and you be the flytrap. Buzz. <laughs> George, <laughs> Venus flytraps do not run. <laughs> Oh, dear. George is a very sad Venus flytrap. Sorry, George. Let's both be flies. Calm down, little flies. It's too hot to buzz about in here. Don't worry. The next room is much cooler. This is our cold house. Is it the North Pole Garden? Sort of. The proper name is Arctic Tundra Garden. Ooh, ice cream. Does ice cream grow at the North Pole, Miss Rabbit? No. Our fridge is broken, so we're keeping them here to stop them melting. Would you like one? Yes, please. Thank you. Pepper and George love ice cream, even in the cold. <laughs> <laughs> Follow me. This is the rainforest garden. Wow! wow. Miss Rabbit, why is it called a rainforest? We call it the rainforest because it's a forest. And it rains a lot. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I make it rain every hour on the hour. It's nice. The rain in the rainforest is lovely and warm. A room where it rains when you want. We need something like this at home. We've got one, Daddy Pig. It's called a shower. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and through here is Mr Rabbit. Mr Rabbit is in the experiment room. Hello, everyone. My job is to make new plants. How? Well, butterflies and bees do it by taking pollen from one flower to another. The flowers then make seeds that grow into new plants. Mmm, this flower smells lovely. Oh, this pretty flower doesn't smell of anything. When I put the pollen from one onto the other, the seeds made a new flower that smells lovely and looks pretty. Mmm, that does smell lovely. You can do it with vegetables as well. I put this small, tasty carrot together with this big, not very tasty carrot. And made a big, tasty carrot. Uh, no, actually. I made a small, not very tasty carrot. Oh. Uh -huh. Would you like to see the children's garden now? Yes, please. <laughs> it has a very special water feature. A fountain? No. A waterfall? No. A great big muddy puddle. <laughs> wow. Come on, George. Whee! Pepper loves all the botanical gardens, especially the muddy one. The potatoes, fruit and vegetable quiz. Fruit and vegetables keep us alive. Always remember to eat your five. It is good to eat five fruit and vegetables every day. Children, 
Mr. Potato has come to find out how much we all know about fruit and vegetables. We know everything about fruit and vegetables. And I know everything about carrots. Good, because today we are going to have a fruit and vegetable quiz. Ooh. What is a quiz? A quiz is where I ask you a question, and if you know the answer, you press the buzzer. Ah! We will need two teams. Peppa, Rebecca and Pedro will be on one team. Susie, Danny and Mandy will be on the other team. <laughs> Let's begin. Our first question is... Which of these is not a vegetable? Lettuce, radish, celery, or a car? <laughs> a car is not a vegetable. That is right. Hooray! Next question. A chocolate biscuit is a fruit. Yes or no? Yes, it's a fruit. My daddy eats five chocolate biscuits every day. Have another guess, Pedro. Is a chocolate biscuit a fruit? Uh, no. That's right! Hooray! And now, the fruit or vegetable questions. Fruit or vegetable? I hope he asks about carrots. What is a strawberry? Fruit or vegetable? A strawberry is a fruit. Yes! A watermelon. Fruit or vegetable? A watermelon is a fruit. Yes! A cabbage. Fruit or vegetable? A cabbage is a vegetable. Yes! A tomato. Fruit or vegetable? Vegetable! Fruit! A tomato is a vegetable, not a fruit. No! A tomato is a fruit, not a vegetable. Would you like to call a friend? Yes, please! Call a friend! Tell me, which of your friends might know the answer? Edmund Elephant! Then let's telephone Edmund the Elephant! Hooray! It's for you. Hello? Hello, Edmund. Is a tomato a fruit or a vegetable? Some people think a tomato is a fruit because it has seeds. But in the 19th century, the Port Authority of New York classified tomatoes as vegetables, which were subject to a 10% import tax. So I will say you are both right. Hooray! Well done, Edmund the Elephant. Are you ready for the last question of the quiz? Yes! I hope it's a question about carrots. Rebecca, you always talk about carrots. I like carrots. <laughs> Name that vegetable. Name that vegetable. I will describe a vegetable, and you will tell me what it is. I am orange, and I grow in the ground. What am I? Uh... Rebecca, what's your favorite vegetable? Uh... A carrot? That's right! A carrot! Hooray! <laughs> Both teams win the fruit and vegetable quiz. We win! Hooray! <laughs> Everybody wins with fruit and vegetables. Viking day. Pepper and George are spending the day with Granny and Grandpa Pig. Grandpa Pig! Granny Pig! <laughs> Hello! Hello, Mum. Historical reenactment day, is it? Yes! Today I am a Viking. Ooh! What's that? Vikings were people who lived a very long time ago. They had helmets and shields and ran around shouting, <laughs> Can we be Vikings too, Granny? Of course. Here are some helmets. <laughs> I'm a Viking. <laughs> Roar! Vicky, Vicky, roar! <laughs> Pepper and George love being Vikings. <laughs> See you later. Bye. Bye. Ha, ha, ha.
<laughs> Peppa and George, come and see what I've made for Viking Day. Granny Pig has made a great big dragon's head. Ooh. It's to go on the front of our Viking boat. Viking boat? Yes. Today we're going sailing with the other grannies. Ho oh, ho! It's just an excuse to have tea and cake. It's not just tea and cake. We also have sandwiches and an apple. Here are the other Viking grannies. Hello, Hello Granny Pig. Pig! Are you all ready for Viking Day? Yes, and these little Vikings are coming too. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Madam Gazelle, why hasn't your helmet got horns on? In actual fact, Peppa, Vikings had helmets without horns. Like this. See? No horns. <laughs> <laughs> but you have got horns. Have I? Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Grandpa Pig. Goodbye. Have fun on your Viking boat. Are we going on a real Viking boat, Granny? Not a real Viking boat. We will be using Grandpa Pig's boat instead. I'm sure he won't mind. Here is Grandpa Pig's boat. All aboard, Vikings! Lower the sail. Fix on the dragon head. And you two need real Viking life jackets. <laughs> Are we all ready? Rawr! Then let's go. Oh, how do we start the boat? I'll phone Grandpa Pig. Grandpa Pig speaking. Hello, Grandpa. How did you start your boat? Just press the green button and off you go. Thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> They're taking my boat. <coughs> ah! My boat! Vikings, onward! Rah! Oh, dear. The picnic basket has been left behind. <coughs> my boat! Ah! Grandad Dog! Follow that boat! Aye, aye, Grandpa Pig! Vikings, 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 we sail across the sea. We like to shout, we like to sing, we like a cup of tea. Ah! <laughs> All this sea air is making me hungry. Hungry! Hungry! Oh, where is the picnic basket? Oh, we've forgotten the food. But I'm so hungry! And me! And me! Food! 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 The Vikings are very hungry. We need to find food! Look, what's that? It is Miss Rabbit's food stall. Food! Food! Ah! 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 Vikings! Four teas, two juices and cake, please. Oh, OK. There they are! <sighs> Caught you, Granny Pig. Grandpa Pig! You've arrived just in time. Have I? Yes, for tea and cake. Tea and cake? Don't mind if I do. <laughs> Vikings love tea and cake. Everybody loves tea and cake. Pepper and her friends are at playgroup. Today, children, we will be playing musical instruments. Hooray! <laughs> I'm going to play the tambourine. I'm going to play the recorder. I'm going to play the triangle. <laughs> we are not playing those musical instruments today. What? We will make our own musical instruments. But we can't make musical instruments. We're children. I am not asking you to make a piano or a trumpet, Peppa. We will be making musical instruments from all of these bits and bobs. Bottles and rubber bands. <laughs> Balloons and yoghurt pots. Music can be made from anything that makes a sound. Ah! How do you usually make sound with a musical instrument? You hit it with a stick. You blow into it, like this. Or you shake it. <laughs> yes! Now, let's see what sounds you can make from these things. The children are going to make musical instruments. 
box sounds like a drum. Oh, this is not a very good drum. Ah, but what happens if you add rubber bands? No, it's the same. Try plucking those rubber bands instead of hitting the box. Oh, it's not a drum at all. It's a twanger. <laughs> Susie has some bottles. These make a sound if you tap them with a pencil. Yes, and if I put different amounts of water into the bottles... Now try it. The water makes the bottle sound different. That's right, Susie. You can also blow across the bottle tops to get a sound. <laughs> You're making music. Wow! George has a bucket. <laughs> Blowing on the bucket does not make music. Let's put some water in your bucket, George. <laughs> Here is a straw. <gasps> <laughs> George is making bubbly music. I'm going to make music with a shaker, some beans and marbles. There. Oh, wonderful shaking music, Pepper. <gasps> It goes very well with George's bubble music. <laughs> Freddy Fox has a balloon. <laughs> very funny, Freddy. What instrument will you make, Madam Gazelle? This is my favourite made-up musical instrument. Madam Gazelle has a musical instrument made out of drinking glasses. Do you blow them like my bottles? No. Do you hit them with a stick? No. Do you shake them? No. I play them with my fingers. Wow! <laughs> the parents have arrived to collect the children. Oh, you are just in time to listen to our made-up musical orchestra. It's made out of bits and bobs. Ooh. Ooh. Children, I will start and then you join in. like made-up musical instruments. Everybody likes made-up musical instruments. Detective Potato. Pepper and George are watching Detective Potato on TV. Help me, Detective Potato. I cannot find my bicycle. Aha! This is your bicycle. Uh, no, it is not. Then this is your bicycle. Yes, it is. Thank you, Detective Potato. Ho, oh, oh, ho, Detective Potato is great at solving mysteries. He's the best detective in the world. Right, that's enough potato for today. We're going to the shopping centre. Oh, goody! I love the shopping centre. What are we going to buy at the shops? A big bag of gravel. I'm trying out a new concrete mix idea. Oh. This is the shopping centre. First, Daddy Pig has to find somewhere to park. Hmm, this floor is full. So where do we park, Daddy? Don't worry, there are lots of other floors. Oh, this floor is full too. Oh, oh, up we go. Everywhere looks the same. Yes, that's why you must always remember what floor you park your car on so you can find your car again. I don't believe it. Not a single space. There's a space. Brilliant. Well done, Pepper. The car is parked. Now we take the lift to the shops. What button do we press? Let's see. Are the shops on floor six or floor three? Here we go. Floor five for the shops. 
Here is Miss Rabbit's gravel shop. Hello, Daddy Pig. Hello, Miss Rabbit. One bag of gravel, please. Help yourself. It's heavy, so I hope you don't have far to go. <laughs> I only have to carry it to the car. <laughs> My goodness, that is a bit heavy. I hope you find your car. I'm always losing my car in that huge car park. <sighs> what button do I press, Daddy? Just press the number of the floor we parked on. So, what floor do we park on? Uh, good question. Let's try level six. Where is our car, Daddy? It doesn't seem to be here. Oh, dear. Daddy Pig has lost the car. Uh, let's try another floor. This is fun! Pepper likes going up uh. and down in the lift. <laughs> hello, 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 hello. Here are Police Officer Panda and Police Officer Squirrel. Is there anything we can help you with? Daddy has lost our car. Well, it's not really lost. I've just forgotten exactly where I parked it. A lost car in a place of hundreds of cars where everywhere looks the same. This will be a very hard mystery to solve. Name, please. Daddy Pig. Daddy Pig. Address? Can't we just look for the car? <laughs> I'm afraid not. This will take time to solve. It's not like on the television where they solve mysteries in a flash. <laughs> It's Detective Potato! At your service. Detective Potato? Daddy lost our car! Aha! That is a mystery only I can solve. Thank you, but we don't need any help. We have the situation under control. Quiet, please. I need silence to work. This is your car. Uh, no. This is your car. Nope. This is your car. Yes, that is our car. Detective Potato has solved the mystery. Hooray! Oh, well done. That was amazing. Ho, ho, ho. It's all in a day's work for a potato. <laughs> <laughs> Funny music. It is morning. Pepper and George are having breakfast. Daddy Pig is about to go to work. Who could that be? Here is Mr Zebra, the postman. Delivery for Daddy Pig. Thank you, Mr Zebra. Bye now. Bye-bye. What is it, Daddy? It's a synthesizer. Ooh. What's a synthesizer? I'll show you. Wow. It's a little piano. Yes. It is like a piano but with buttons. What do the buttons do, Daddy? Uh, I'm not sure. Oh, here's a book that tells you what the buttons do. Ah, it looks a little more complicated than I thought. Don't worry, Daddy. We'll learn all about it while you are at work. Thank you, Peppa. See you later. Bye-bye. <laughs> Let's play the synthesizer. OK, first we need to switch it on. Then we can play it just like a piano. Ooh, can we have a go? Yes. We are good at the piano, Mummy. <laughs> <laughs> so what do the buttons do? We can use the buttons to record sounds. What kind of sounds? Anything you like. Say something, Pepper. <laughs> <laughs> That's me! Now we can play the sound like a piano. <laughs> <laughs> can we do some recording? Of course. Say something, George. I saw. George, this is you. I saw. Let's do lots of sounds and surprise Daddy. 
What a good idea! Come on, George! <laughs> Pepper and George are recording lots of different sounds. In the kitchen. In the bedroom. <laughs> in the living room. In the hallway. <laughs> Even in the garden. Peppa, George, Daddy will be home soon. Have you finished recording your sounds? <laughs> no, Mummy. There's just one more. Come on, George. Follow me. What sound can it be? It's a very important sound. Peppa <laughs> is going into the bathroom. Flush the toilet, George. <laughs> Daddy Pig is home from work. Hello, everyone. Hello, Daddy. <laughs> I've been looking forward to playing my new synthesizer all day. Mmm, lovely music. It's even more lovely with the buttons, Daddy. <laughs> Play it again. All right. Whoa! <laughs> What's that? That's me! We've made lots of silly sounds. Play it again! <laughs> <laughs> it's funny music, Daddy. Oh, oh it certainly is. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy Pig loves funny music. Everyone loves funny music. <laughs> <laughs>